Hey guys, welcome to another video and as a flight reviewer I take hundreds of flights all around the world every year and most of them are a lot of fun and very enjoyable but there's also a handful of flights I wish I never took. Here's a top 10 of my worst flights of my life. Enjoy! Number 10. Spice Jet. Red, hot, spicy, but in reality the tagline filthy, chaotic and incredibly rude would make a much better match. First, I was greeted by two arguing cabin members at the door, of which one would send me an email after I published the video, calling me a disrespectful prick, desperate for views. The plane was pretty much falling apart, the seatbelt had curry stains in it and the leg room was non-existent. Your cargo was kicked on the plane if it made it on board at all. And my seat neighbor loved to rest his elbow in my tummy and he apparently never heard of headphones. If there's an airline you want to avoid in India, it's gotta be SpiceJet. Number 9. Nepal Airlines to be honest, I totally loved the new cabin of Nepal Airlines and the very kind and welcoming crew. It was only my very weird seat neighbor who spoiled the experience for almost everyone. He would constantly annoy me and shout at the crew, treating them like absolute servants. One year old and I happen to have a very annoying passenger next to me. <laughs> he had zero manners and literally annoyed the entire cabin the entire flight. The absolute highlight though was when he took off his shoes presenting his dirty feet. The smell that quickly spread around the cabin made everyone choke. And I'm not joking. Many of my subscribers recognized him and it turned out that he is a principal of a local school in Kathmandu and that he always behaves like this. Poor students. Number 8. Air Canada most of the time I actually quite enjoy flying the Canadian flag carrier, but one time on a trip from London Heathrow to Toronto, the cabin manager threatened me with legal consequences if I film or review this flight and also said that I wasn't welcome on board. He later apologized for his actions after I shared my experience on Instagram. The airline later suspended him for some time from flying. Air Canada later invited me to the headquarters in Montreal, which was a very nice gesture and I really enjoyed my visit. My fate in the airline Sure was restored. Was Thank you, Air Canada. Like a, like yeah. Number 7. Air China. It all happened on the first day of 2019 and it wasn't actually the flight that was bad but a new law that was introduced the very same day the airline wasn't aware of which resulted in me getting stranded at Beijing airport. I wasn't allowed to enter China. For hours and hours nobody wanted to take responsibility for me and I was left with no access to food or water. In fact nobody knew what to do. Eventually. After hours of waiting and a night at the transit hall, Air China admitted that they shouldn't have boarded me in Seoul and sent me back to Korea the next morning on their expense. Though they have treated me nicely, I wouldn't rely on Air China when it comes to dealing with any kind of issues. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption but today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and right now is probably the best time to start your business and in order to do so you have to have a great website. That's how I started years ago with my blog and look it turned into a very successful YouTube channel and you can do the same with Squarespace whether you sell cupcakes or you build airplanes or you vlogger or you a spotter and you want to share your work somewhere you can do that with Squarespace and even if you don't know much about building a website there's so many great templates to choose from and their customer service is exceptional 24 7 you can bother them all the time so as you can see I am currently building my new website with Squarespace as well where I'm going to integrate a shop where I can finally sell merch to you guys which you've been asking me for for so long and the good news is Squarespace is offering you 10% off of your first purchase just go to squarespace.com slash Josh Cahill and you get 10% off by just using the code uh, Josh Cahill. And then no excuse anymore. You can start building your dream and showcase your work or do whatever you want people to see online. So go out, try the link in the description below and start right now. All right, and now let's go back to the video. Number six, Cam Air. 
I'm generally a very adventurous person, and flying Afghanistan's largest airline on September 11 to Kabul doesn't worry me too much, even if they're banned from European airspace due to safety issues. However, I got a little nervous when I noticed that the 20-year-old ATR plane had a problem with the cargo door. I've overheard the flight engineers saying that we actually need a spare part to fix it, but it's not available in Pakistan. He suggested we should fly back to Kabul and fix it there, saying that we should be alright. This was the moment when I did consider to actually disembark. After consulting myself, I decided to risk it in order to experience one of the most extreme crosswind landings ever at Kabul International Airport. A true adventure. Oh, and a little reminder, why don't you hit that subscribe button? You would make my day. Thank you. Number 5. Jet Airways When I flew India's largest privately owned airline, it was a well-known fact that they were struggling financially. The stuff wasn't paid properly, if not at all, and there was also no money to maintain their fleet. I was rudely told off by the cabin manager to stop filming, or otherwise I wouldn't be served anymore. Also the cabin was falling apart and nothing was functioning anymore. On top of it, the airplane hasn't seen a cleaner in weeks, maybe even months, and was extremely dirty and worn out. One year after I published my review, the airline went bankrupt. Rest in peace, Jet Airways. Number 4. Singapore Airlines Considering the airline praises itself as one of the best in the world, I was pretty underwhelmed. It was still a decent flight, but I can name many other airlines that have a far more better economy class product. But it wasn't the flight that caused nightmares, but rather the hate and death threats I've received from Singaporeans. Singaporeans are known to be very sensitive when it comes to criticism, since they occasionally believe that they are more superior than other Asian nations. While there are a lot of Singaporeans who agreed with my feedback, it wasn't nice to be constantly being abused by nationalists. However, the airline itself took the feedback very seriously and implemented it in all their pre-fight briefings, making the crew aware of their shortcomings. Well done, Singapore Airlines. Number 3. Oman Air I have had plenty of flights of Oman Air, and if I think that it can't get any more worse than my last flight, the Middle Eastern airline always proves me wrong. The crew is extremely untrained, the service is super slow, and something is always broken when I travel with them. Let me say that Oman Air isn't the safest airline. It's like cold. It's like super cold. Like in the However, on my last flight I was downgraded to economy class at the gate unless I pay a fee in cash, which clearly sounds a bit fishy. When they noticed that I recorded everything, they threatened to sue me if I posted online. Well, do yourself a favor and stay away from a monitor. That is, that is okay. I'm not mentioning your name. I'm Number 2. Salmon Air this Chinese airline is probably one of the worst I've ever flown. It started to be weird before I even got on the flight. The station manager of Sherman Air messaged me on Instagram pretending to be a passenger, trying to intimidate me in my opinion because I mentioned that the online check-in procedure was faulty. Unfortunately for him, he forgot to delete photos of him in uniform before attacking me. Such a bizarre thing to do. The flight experience was even worse. Safety wasn't a crew's priority at all. We had passengers store luggage and bags on the seat and no rules were enforced at any time. So I wasn't surprised that the crew didn't switch off the lights during takeoff, which violates aviation law, or that passenger freely walked around while taking off. After confronting the airline about safety issues and showing them the first footage and messages, they claimed that this has never happened. All right. Number 1. Malaysia Airlines My most bizarre flight must have been on Malaysia Airlines from Kuala Lumpur to London. The crew was super lazy and unfriendly, the food an absolute nightmare and my in-flight entertainment broken. As usual, I've shared my feedback mid-flight and that's when things went downhill. Someone in Malaysia informed the captain during the flight about my Instagram post. He passed it on to the crew which then confronted me in front of all passengers, almost shouting at me. I was cut off for the rest of the flight. No food, 
or water for the next hours. They also stopped me from recording. After I posted the review, it made headlines in a couple of newspapers and Malaysia Airlines offered me a refund, which I declined. I asked them to donate my refund to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. They agreed. A few months later I found out the money was never donated, so I had to make a second video after my emails weren't answered. A few days later, the money finally reached a charity. Thank you so much for watching and let me know which flight you think was the worst in the comment section below. Please also don't forget that these incidents are very rare and that 99% of my flights are wonderful. I love flying and I appreciate and value the hard work of everyone involved in the industry. Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10 flight reviews and aviation stories. Also, a big thank you to my patrons for their amazing support. Check out my Patreon page as well for cool extra perks. Thank you everyone and please stay safe.